So how did I go from this to this for $10? Well, first, here's my crazy backstory. All right, guys, so here's the thing. My husband and I are uber competitive. And um, competitiveness can be good at times, especially when it comes to, you know, healthy competition. But with me and my husband, we often go into overdrive mode. And, um, and that's just the nature of our relationship. Comment below if you can relate to that. I hope I'm not the only one. Huh? So what happened was um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, being a decor enthusiast and a DIY enthusiast, um, I wanted to do our first feature wall in our new home. And um, this was the first time, you know, I was going to take a stab at doing something DIY kind of a thing. Um, and I had a discussion with my husband and knowing his competitive nature, I should not have brought it up in the first place because now I'm regretting it. So this guy, he challenged me to do one for, guess what, $10. Can you believe it? Like $10. Give me a break, my friend. Um, like seriously, I have no room to work with here. So um, initially, I thought of like just giving up on it altogether. But then, you know, I started mulling it over and I did have certain ideas that I could um, do uh, and still like stay within the budget. So here's another cash though. And that is my husband is gone for three days. And my plan is to pull that off in those three days. Um, I don't know how that's gonna go because given my kids, given the craziness uh, that goes on around the house and just the busyness of our lives, um, I don't know how that's gonna pan out, but that's the plan. So in terms of supplies, I'm planning on using these acrylic paints by Daler Rowney. So the colors I'm going to be using are black and white, um, the colors that are really in these days, um, and a roll of paper towel and also a frog tape. So the reason why I'm using black and white is because it can give me a lot of versatility in terms of the shades I can get just by combining these colors in various quantities um, and also that can help me a lot especially with my budget constraints. Alright guys so let's get this show on the road. Poop my daughter is up. So let's see how long this party actually lasts. Um, so to get started, basically what I did was I taped up the, the parameters of the wall just so I know the area that I'm going to be working with and the idea was to um, basically create an abstract geometric feature wall uh, which goes from dark to light. So from the darkest color, so basically the black color, all the way to white, slowly graduating into lighter colors into white. Um, and the plan was um, to basically have it serve as a reminder for me um, for the metaphor of life itself. Because as you know, in life, we all come across and go through dark moments, low moments, you know, moments when we want to give up. Um, in those moments, you know, I wanted to be reminded that this too shall pass. These dark moments will be superseded by the brightness of light. Um, and that's why I wanted it to graduate um, and fade out from the darkness into light. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually painting the uh, geometric uh, piece that I've created uh, with black paint. Um, and I'm actually going over it with paper towel just to create some kind of a smoky effect. Um, and obviously I'm experimenting at this time because I want to see how it's all going to look, how it's going to pan out because I want it to all blend together at the end of the day and look like a cohesive piece of art. And that's the wrap for day one. Alright guys, so it's day two and I really need to start hustling because I haven't made a lot of progress. Um, my daughter actually uh, was causing a lot of issues last night. So now I'm actually going to start the, with the next piece. And basically I'm actually going over um, the painted area just so there is no white spots in between because that was one thing I did not want. 
I didn't want like taped areas um, being left as blank because I wanted it to be cohesive, to be continuous. And, um, and that's why I was going over the previously painted area with my tape just so there is no blank white spaces in between. And here as you can see I'm actually applying um, the cling wrap um, because I wanted to see the effect that it creates um, and just wanted to test out the two methods. Uh, paper towel being the first one and the second one being the, uh, the cling wrap. Now I'm peeling it off just to see the effect. Um, I'm not liking it so far to be very honest with you especially the top part where I applied the the cling wrap right away um, let's see how the bottom part holds up um, I don't know if I'm liking it I don't know if you guys are on the same page as, as me let me know in the comments below um, so let's see the moment of truth it's not looking that great and the area above the tape as you can see i think in that looks that gives a much better effect but again um let's see uh it does look better than the top area so the bottom part where i did wait a little it does look better but it's still not giving the effect that i'm looking for um but you know the beauty of these pieces is basically you try, do trial and error and then you stick with whatever makes sense to you so so here is uh, another geometric piece that I have randomly created and I was literally like trying to go for triangular pieces, pieces with angles and edges, um, very interesting, you know, cool looking um, shapes I was looking for. And, um, and here also you can see I've, I'm applying uh, the cling wrap um, because I just wanted to see and try, uh, try it out. Uh, before I completely dismiss it and um, and then I'm obviously gonna remove it and that's the effect that it gives it doesn't look too bad so I'm actually gonna I'm going over it with paper towel and now I'm removing the tape because it has dried up hey guys just wanted to give you a bit of a progress at the end of day two as you can see, my eyes are swollen from lack of sleep. Uh, my daughter, um, she has been waking up every uh, few hours, so I'm not able to like focus on work um, and also just put her to bed. Um, so just wanted to uh, give a bit of an update. Um, I haven't done much in terms of where I am with the walls, so I'm actually pretty behind um, because um, in my head, the last day was supposed to be uh, for the finishing touches yet I'm nowhere even close to doing um, half the wall uh, completed. So please pray for me. Um, I'm literally like dying to get some sleep at this point. Um, sorry, <laughs> trying to like open my eyes. Um, and um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get this done. All right, guys, so it's day three, just to keep you um, up to date. I actually pulled an all-nighter last night because I had to make sure that I keep up with the amount of work that needed to be done. Um, but because I was so tired last night, I actually forgot to record uh, the progress that I made. Um, but basically what I did was um, I went over the right-hand side uh, geometric piece uh, with a solid black paint. And the reason was I wasn't the biggest fan of the uh, smoky effect I was getting with the cling wrap. I basically wanted it to uh, start off as a solid black piece and slowly become uh, more translucent and, uh, and less rigid. And that's why I wanted to add the smoky effect maybe halfway through it. So as you can see now I'm adding smaller and tinier pieces to it because I want this art piece to have the finer details and um, also um, create the complexity with the smaller, you know, sized uh, pieces um, that will be part of this project. So I'm adding those and um, and I am uh, going over the paint with um, a paper towel for the smoky effect because I liked it better. And also another thing is I'm actually. Um, adding uh, three or four drops of white paint every time I'm adding another geometric piece just so 
it get, keeps getting lighter and lighter and there is some consistency to it um, so, so that's the gist of the process that I am going over uh, with you so just bear with me as I complete these steps I actually wanted to share um, two uh, tricks that I learned along the way um, that would have helped me had I known about them um, initially or from the get-go. Uh, one of them was the fact that um, if I had uh, drawn out um, a picture of what I was looking for that it would have been very helpful uh, but because I was going for something very abstract, very um, free flowing um, I just wanted to play it by ear however in your case if you think that um, drawing it out on a piece of paper or on the wall itself would uh, help guide you um, in the process then more power to you and definitely go for it um, another thing that um, really helped me or was a hack for me uh, was uh, realizing um, halfway through the process that I could actually reapply the frog tape uh, which, which I wasn't doing initially and obviously did waste um, quite a bit of tape um, and you know just working with some budget constraints here um, it really did help me afterwards um, so because it did uh, require a lot of frog tape so basically I actually would uh, tape it off and like would apply the same tape over and over again and um, it worked just as fine the next time around or actually I would say the next few times around um, so so those are some of the things that really helped me along the way um, also I noticed that as I was working my way from right to left um, I was using more of the paper towel and the smudging technique because I wanted more of that smoky effect um, in my painting and basically more of that fade out effect or the washed out look so basically I was using more and more of the uh, the paper towel and um, also basically um, using it right away just so the paint doesn't dry out so it, it is something that needs to be kept in mind that we want to be using um, uh, the paper towel right away so that means we need to be working on smaller areas just so they are manageable and they don't dry out um, and uh, and we're still able to apply the smoky or the smudging effect on them so as you can see I'm almost there I'm actually on my second last um, piece and there is just one more piece to go so we're in the final stretch, um, so just hang in tight, we're getting there. I feel like it's coming together nicely, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of it so far. I mean the tapes are still there, um, but I think you can kind of get a feel for it, so let me know. Alright guys, so it's time to add some finishing touches. The best part about this whole thing, um, and actually no, getting his reaction is more important, but you know, this is fun too. Alright guys, so it's time to show you how the whole thing came together. And I'm really excited about the uh, final look. Um, let me know in the comments if you like it. So as you can see, um, the, uh, the details and the texture and the smoky effect, I mean, it looks really nice. Um, and it all came together, um, especially with the color choices that we made. And here's the full look. Um, so you can see uh, there's a bit of a seating area there and some decorative branches. Um, so let's see if my husband likes it. Alright guys, so I'm actually very excited. He's gonna be here anytime soon. Um, he just messaged me, um, he's coming, so the moment of truth. How's that, Michael? How are you? Tired? I'm good, I'm good, man. Exhausted. Why are you recording me, Jack? For the kids! Inshallah, let's speak to them tomorrow morning. How are you? How was your trip? Exhausting. Hmm. 
How was your time with the kids, man? Alhamdulillah, man. It was okay. Um, exhausting, but Alhamdulillah, I managed. <laughs> Um, just wanted to say something. Do you remember the dare? I know you're tired. Um, do you remember the dare? Um, a challenge? The challenge you made? John, which one? <laughs> <laughs> the one about the feature wall for like $10 or under. Remember that? Dude! I know you do it all the time, but like that one, man, like the crazy one. Oh, <laughs> oh the ten dollar one. Yeah. You did. No. Yeah. No, no. That's all. Ten dollars, man. Yes. <laughs> do you like it? Wow. Especially with yeah yeah go for it man, oh especially with Eliza like giving me such a hard time, like she was up man for the most part and. When did you do this man? This is amazing. When you were gone, like I literally like I wanted to make sure like I get it done, you know. I wanted to give it to you as a surprise and pull the whole thing off. I'm gonna move. Go for oh it. Oh my god. Do you like it? Wow. Why are you moving the whole thing? No, it's just... Jeez, man. Shut up, man. That's amazing. What do you like about it? Well, this is not something I can ever do. So... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. What's so the verdict? Is. Did I win? Did I win? And then some. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was go I was the one who was away, and you're the one who got all the work done. Mashallah. No, no, man. <laughs> I did miss you, especially when she was up, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I wish she was here. But I think it was worth it. I mean, just looking at your reaction. No, Yay, a, alhamdulillah. Jazakallah, her, oh, man. If you need a reaction for YouTube, give me a second. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little overdone. <laughs> But I think the first one was good enough. <laughs> Amazing. Jazakallah. Hey, wonderful, job. wonderful job. Wow. Jazakallah, hey, man. I'm so happy. So glad that you liked it. So the next project, I may... You don't realize this is going to take, this is going to take attention away from the TV, right? <laughs> eh, it's all good. It doesn't matter. No, this is beautiful, man. I'm going to take a picture of this and share it with my coworkers too. Oh, really? Is that Aww. okay? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Because this is wonderful. Jazakallah hair, man. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. Love you. I was going to say while I was gone. <laughs> <laughs>